guys, welcome to another episode of Trending brought to you by Airtel. We have an action-packed show for you today, full of games and lots of surprises. Absolutely, Kim. Also, let us not forget that, of course, on the show, we're going to be having a special guest joining us later on the show. My name is Pascal, and when we return, Kim will be joined with our special guest on the show. Stick around. Welcome back. It's still trending, brought to you by Airtel. We have our guest in the studio with us today. He is a comedian and an actor. Can you guess who that is? Any guesses? Well, we have the one and only Olua Dollars. That's what's up. <laughs> How you doing now? I'm fine, fine. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm cool. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I just look at you and you just make me laugh. Because, oh, really? I mean, oh, wow. I mean, all your videos, you know? It is My head is swell. You got, you got that power, you know? <laughs> Thank so, you. Let's talk about content creation and how hard it is to create content. Thank God you said how hard it is. Actually, content creation is actually very hard. From you trying to like get the storyline mm -hmm. to you trying to like achieve. I mean, me, where I get the idea for it. And I mean, everything I won't bring out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's very difficult based True. on the environment, the props and stuff. Then now you posting it and trying to post at the right time that everybody's I mean, going to oh see. Oh my God. And, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. So I can relate. <laughs> content is not just, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy, especially yeah. for someone in your field, which is comedy. Like, how would you even know that this particular content is going to make people laugh? Actually, you don't know, we just <laughs> don't know, you just... <laughs> we just follow our guts, actually. Or let me say, I just follow my guts. Mm -hmm. Because most of the times when I do my content, I don't find it funny. No, you're joking. I'm serious. I don't find most of them funny because... Let me say, wow. I, before I bring them out, mm -hmm. I already condemn and yeah. condemn and condemn uh. and recondemn. So, <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I did them myself. Okay. So while I'm editing, I'm like, ah, this guy is so dry. I don't find them funny most times. But I'm glad that you guys find it funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what usually inspires your choice of characters in your skits? So about that, sometimes movies, sometimes um, the scenario, or let me say what, what just happened around me. Like mm -hmm. today now when I go here, I don't really see content so I could do. So uh -uh. I'll go and write the script. <laughs> so I feel like So you I'm just draw from everything around you, exactly. environment, yeah. things happening. Yeah. Wow. How have you been able to consistently create content? Like without burning out mm. your own role? Probably because I love to make people laugh. It's something oh. that I love doing. Even when the camera is not there, I do it. Mm -hmm. I do it most times. So I don't get tired. I don't get tired. I just wanna do something every day. So <laughs> I would really love to know who actually inspires you comedically. My like, mom. she's very funny. My mom. <laughs> oh my. My mom is actually like the funniest person I've known. Yeah, she's actually very funny. She used to be, she used to be an actor as well. So. Oh, that's amazing because yeah. apparently your mom also is, you know, into comedy and your brother. Yeah. So you yeah. guys the actually whole like is do into comedy. skit making and. Yeah, it's in our blood. How, so. how has that been? How? <laughs> it has been fun. <laughs> I feel like you guys just look at see yourself in the parlor and look at yourselves and just be laughing at yeah, one another. Exactly, <laughs> because the thing is, imagine you doing what you love to do yeah? with people you love. It's oh. just you know, it's just sweet. So we just look at look at that. Sometimes you don't even write the script, you just, you just, you just do something and it's just funny. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. But you. in this day and age, right, where you know, I mean social media has played like a huge factor on content creation and whatnot. So people are it's hard for people to actually say this is how much a lower dollar makes this is how much this person makes yeah. what would you actually say to that like how much do you make on an average i mean with someone with over millions of followers you know i would just say i make enough actually Sha. enough yeah and that's just you we're not even going to mama we're not going to this whole family as well. <laughs> you heard <laughs> You said you like to make people laugh, right? Yeah. From the time you started content creation, has it always been comedic uh, content you've been putting out? Or did you just start as just a normal content creator and then you evolved into um, comedy? I, as a matter of fact, I used to be a stand-up comedian when I was still very young, in my young days. I'm still young, but I mean like very, very yeah, young. Yeah, back in the days. Back in the days. So wow. um, I used to be a stand-up comedian. I could not afford to go to shows mm -hmm. and or try to. I could not even afford the, afford the connect actually. Mm -hmm. So I just like okay. So what's the shortcut to for people to for see people to see me. your talent? So I started doing my stand up jokes on Instagram and um, Facebook. Wow. And I switched from stand up jokes to to skit making. To skit making. Me and my you brother. have to evolve in time. Yeah. That's that's really nice. Yeah. 
Over the years, a lot of people have been concerned about the kind of comedy, you know, skit makers make, you know, especially the ones that have to do with women's bodies, women's mm. images, you know, mm. what's your take on that? James just be very blunt, they're just furious, <laughs> basically, because you know, now they complain about um, exposing women's body, yeah? Okay. Uh, they also complain if we do something else, okay, let's say we do something about Yahoo now, they also complain. So I don't feel like you have to like, if you want to enjoy comedy, mm -hmm. you have to like take out this moral things you guys are talking about. Yeah. I'm not saying it is good to expose mm -hmm. women's body in your content, yeah. yeah, but sometimes there's some kind of storyline mm -hmm. that just need that exposure. Yeah, I do understand that. I think it's more of, I feel like there's certain comedic, you know, skit makers that over sexualize That's women. That, that, that is that where niche? the problem comes oh, okay. from. I think the over sexualization of women in okay. those skits. Okay. You just free us. No, 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 no don't free us in that way. <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, tomorrow the thing is actually bad, so we can't always... Yeah. What I was trying to explain mm -hmm. is there are some content, there are some storylines that would need us to... Do so that. Even movies, they do it in movies, yes. I mean, everywhere. So, even mm -hmm. music. So, so, I don't know about people that overdo, overdo it, too. It, yeah. yeah. But I've noticed that a lot of uh, critics, even if the girl is just wearing something that maybe uh, maybe she just has a big ass, mm -hmm. there's a problem. Okay. Why, is she having, why is she having big ass? You understand? <laughs> why is she having big boobs? Can yeah. you do without using the woman, uh, without not using the woman in your content and stuff? You understand? Okay. So, stuff like that, in a way, I the drive out with that. But mm -hmm. the other ones that over sexualize it, man, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about this one. Yeah, I, but I totally I don't understand. Think, I feel like it's bad. That's okay. Your stance on that is very clear. Um, in the course of content creation, what are the distinctive tools or you know methods that you use to create your content that is, you feel is very particular to you? Very particular to me. I want to tell you. I mean, you can just. <laughs> Most of the times when I want to when I want to um, walk, mm -hmm. but I try to chew ice. No. Yeah. Yes. What does that do? It calms me in a way and mm. also helps me i don't know how to put it helps, helps me give give me that imagination like you know when you're imagining something mm -hmm. and you want to bring it out exactly the way it's coming into your head mm -hmm. as for me if i want to get that i chew ice wow a lot of it so many people are going to be chewing ice no, after this interview. Have, uh, <laughs> some people go to the toilet <laughs> i know a comedian like he's a skit maker as well he's a mm -hmm. popular skit maker if this guy wants shoots he needs to go to the toilet first for like minutes then come out wow and is in his best okay, character. Okay, okay. That's an interesting take. In the nearest future or as time goes by, do you intend to, you know, still remain a skit maker or are you going to progress into, are you looking into like comedy specials, you know, and the, and the likes? Yeah, I'm looking into uh, movies actually. Okay. Yeah. But of course, I just want to be called a skit maker. Oh, you like it? I love it. You love it? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I feel a lot of people always angry. I'm not a skit no, maker. No, I'm a proud skit maker. No, 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 I'm a proud skit maker. Well, if he pays I'm your bills, why not? So, but I'm looking into going into movies, actually. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So, what characters would you love to play in movies? Would you still like to be the funny guy, or would you want to take more serious roles? I want roles? to take more serious. More serious yeah, roles? Yeah, I feel like that's like one of my challenges, yeah. Um, a lot of people see, see me you as I'm just seeing you as okay, really funny. Even when parts. I'm serious. Uh, even when I'm like, stop, I look, and I'm like, this guy is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to be taken serious at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I want to go into movies. I want to like probably act like a drug dealer. <laughs> Pablo Escobar kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> something serious. You don't want to be that lover boy. No, you know what? You want only the bad roles. Yeah, bad roles. <laughs> Mm. You know, you know who to call next when you. You're yeah, trust me, I'm serious Godzilla. sometimes. I'm serious. All right. I'm so sorry, I can't. She, she's laughing. I'm being serious right here. I can't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And it's a wrap, guys. Thank you to our guests for coming in on the show today. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. On Instagram is at official hip TV, and of course on Twitter is hip TV. So we'll come your way next time. My name is Pascal. And my name is Kim Oprah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>